He's a familiar face in downtown Belize City, and that's because for more than 21 years, Jerison Lopez has been selling fruits on Albert Street. Right now, it's the plum season on right now. After plum season right now, coming in now is the custard apple and, and sour sap. I usually mix those with milk and things and sell them in cups, you know. His way of making a living is honest and modest. His determination to continue striving has brought him to the same spot every day. Crabble season coming up after that, you know. I, I sell all the fruits. You know, once, it's, once the customers, they want it and I could put my hand on it, I go and get it. But Lopez's challenge now is selling it. The business has been slow thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. It affected us. Yeah, it, it did affect me. Because they slow down business in a type of level, like with the school children. Every day the school children pass, they spend so much money with us and think. No school children passing right now, you know. It's just I have to rely on the business community. A few persons bought from Lopez, which is more than what we can say for Lawrence Meia. He has been selling fruits and other items in front of the Belize City bus terminal for five years. He set up shop at 5 o'clock this morning and by mid-afternoon, Meia had only sold $8 of goods. They hardly make anything because nobody buy, nobody have money, nobody on the street, they can't sell. Yeah, it's rough day. The whole day they make about 15 or 8 dollars. So have like right now, how much have you sold? Sold about 8 dollars today. And how long have you been out here for this morning? From Friday from 5.30 to now. But now under the new COVID regulations, vendors have more freedom. They are no longer confined to sell from private property. They can now be out in public trying to make ends meet. Tamales vendor Gary Mata says he's glad that officers won't be harassing him anymore. I used to sell, before COVID dropped down, I used to sell a lot of tamales. You know when COVID come, everything business gone down, slow, slow, slow. Sometimes you can sell out and make a piece of bread, say the council harass you, police harass you, a lot of things harass you. Mata says that business has been so bad that he has been forced to give his tamales and dukuno for free. I used to sell 150 tamales a day and 100 dukuno meat, right now too slow. Sometimes I have to give it out, give it to homeless, I give this lady some tamales, you know, I give the children out the street. Sometimes I can't get them back again for heart, I have to give it back. The vendors have been asked to make sure that they and their customers adhere to the six feet social distancing. They have to put things in place and make them follow protocols, you know, because the excessive, excessive piling up around, you know, the right there, things will transmit, you know, between each person and thing. So I don't have no problem with when they say you have to put the markers and things, well, I don't, I don't really have to put the markers and I, I explain to my customer, please, no gathering, please distance yourself. Sir, are you at the dealer right now, miss? I'll deal with you next, please. And everybody else hold on distance and respect each other and respect the business and the authorities that make we go from there. These vendors are hopeful that moving forward with the loosening of the regulations, a sense of normalcy will return to them. This would mean being able to keep up with the mounting bills. You have to bring food for kids in the table. House rent, you have to pay a light bill, water bill. If you don't pay a light bill or water bill, they can take it off and then cut you out, then that's your hotel street. Very bad. Yeah. Only a little bit of food sell, you can make food. But once I buy and sell like food, it's so bad. Really fuck you big. I fight hard for a living, man. Hard. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.